Hello, so yesterday, we, it's Valentine's Day if you can't tell by our outfits. Um, so I'm not sure when I, this will get posted, but um, we are dressed very festively for today. Um, I mean, as a boy, how often are you going to get the opportunity to wear red velvet pants, right? Anyway, that's besides the point. Yesterday we were doing our live and I, he was actually cooperating with rolling from belly to back so that I was able to kind of show some of it. Um, and I've gotten a lot of questions about that recently. So I wanted to do a post now, fingers crossed, he cooperates today. It is later in the afternoon here, so we'll see. Um, but, so the things that you need to be able to do belly to back is they need to be able to bring their arms under them. So I'm gonna turn him to the side a little bit. So you can kind of see his arms are underneath of his shoulders. Well, okay, this is his normal. And if you can see, they are way out in front of him. They have created a very wide base of support. So like if he were to reach his, or let's see if I go from the side. So if he were to reach, can you see how that arm is way out? We'll turn back around in front again. So out like this, if he tries to reach, that's like, it's like a kickstand for a bike. So getting over is going to be really hard. Now, if the arms are under and you reach, you can start to go over. Same if you're pushing up, which we're not necessarily pushing up much, but we're getting, we're tolerating weight bearing um, over the lap and stuff like that. So up like that, now you not only have narrowed your base of support, but you've raised yourself up. <coughs> oh, you're okay. Here, we'll sit up for a second while I explain. So basically the difference there is when the arms are bent and you reach up, it's like trying to knock over a small cube. Um, so it's narrow, but it's not very tall, so there's not a lot of like momentum. Where when you're pushed up, you now have the narrow base of support, but you're up a lot higher, so it doesn't take as much to knock over. So it'd be like toppling over, I'm doing really bad with my analogies right now. Um, it'd be like toppling over a pile of cubes. So just think of them as one big long attached thing, not that they're actually cubed on top of each other. And that was a really bad and long analogy. Anyway, so let's see if he will cooperate. So we go out like this. We have been using this toy. Um, and you can see how he started to follow it. And you can see how he starts to shift his weight there. So I can choose to help him over like that. I helped from the hip. Um, and that was actually pretty good for him in that he kept this arm under him. Yesterday, I was having to provide some stability. So I was like really just kind of not squeezing, but like keeping him stable here. And that actually let him try to reach up. Can you get it, bud? Can you get it? Good job. See how he's reaching up for it? And let's see. Go, go up. Those are his writing reactions kicking in. So his writing reactions are getting in the way of him. Go ahead. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. I'm helping at the hip here. I'm helping at the hip and boom. Good job, good job. So what you need is that narrow base of support. You need to, sh and then it's weight shifting. So again, if the arms are out really far, that weight shift is going to be really hard to happen. Try walking with your feet way wide open and you kind of waddle a little bit because you're not shifting your weight over your legs. So same with the hands. Now bring your feet in and walk like you typically would and you get your weight shifting onto each foot. Well, same with the hands. So now they're reaching. So they shift the weight on here. They go too far and they're going to topple over and it becomes more and more refined the more they practice. Let's try one more time. Let's see. Can you get it? I'm trying not to help and see. Okay, you see you tried to reach and that arm automatically went out. So I'm gonna give a little bit of support here and see what happens. Good, 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 good. All I'm doing is giving the support here. I'm trying not to guide at all. 
you can kind of see that head is up. Okay, you need, this is very hard for me to do with only two hands. Oh, good job, bud. All I did was help support that arm. Um, this is getting to be a long video, but we're gonna try one more time and see what happens. And we did it. So that is the benefit of doing multiple repetitions in a row um, of things is, oh yeah, ready? Is that they start to like learn, and now he's not gonna do it, I probably should just stop while we were ahead because now he's distracted by the thing. So anyway, I like to do things multiple times um, so that they start to get that motor pattern, like planning, and they start to figure out what's happening. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I just know that I had received a lot of questions about how to help kids, especially kids in his general age range, um, where they've now learned to roll onto their belly at night and they're stuck and they're not going back to sleep and parents want to be able to sleep and they want them to sleep. So, hope that helps. All right, happy Valentine's Day. I'm not sure that this will get posted on Valentine's Day, but happy Valentine's Day.